What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today, we're going to venture back into the demon shit. New life. Ready to go. Going to try this again. I actually... I actually filmed about 11 starts before I got one that was enough to make a video out of. Uh, I might throw in a couple of the fails at the very end. We'll see how the editing goes and how long everything is when we're done. Before we get into that though, let me shill for myself for a second. So if you haven't considered smashing all the buttons or checking out the links down in the description or sharing or liking or subscribing or any of those things, take a moment to consider that before we move forward because it would really, really, really help me out and make my day. That's enough. I'm done. I promise. Let's go look at the board and get into this game of demonship. All right. What's up, friends? Welcome to my seventh or eighth attempt at trying to make a piece of content for demonship today. I have yet to make it through the first turn. So we're going to see how this one goes, and hopefully this will be the one. We are currently in the corridor trying to find the engine room. Got off the three pulse dice, so that's what we're going to roll. Oh, that is a really good roll for me. That is actually the best roll I've had all morning trying to do this. So let's do some stuff. We're going to style on them. So we're going to move two, one, two, and get an evasion token. Then going to blast this one and this one. So no demons on the board for the mirror phase. So we will go to the next pulse phase. Yet again, no demon actions. This is going infinitely. Right, this box right here, see what we get. Five is an armor plate. All right, that's a good one. To here, and we're gonna interact with that lock crate and see what's in there. Four is a style soda. And still no demons, let's go. So we're gonna discover this barrel. One is a flame frag. One, two, three. And we're gonna see what's in that barrel. Another style soda. Pulse. Okay, so there are gonna be some demons that spawn here. However, it's not really gonna matter what they do because I am moving straight through there because they're gonna spawn, they won't get to activate, and then I am moving through that door. So we'll go to the next room. This is often an actually decent start. Next room is gonna be six round. We stumble into the escape pod room. Still looking for the engine room though, and we get two blade demons that spawn ambushing. So that is as close to me as possible. We're still on pulse three. Let's see what we get. So one for me, two for them. Nobody needs to move here. So this is gonna be two potential damage, two attacks coming at me. However, I have one evasion. So we're gonna use that to get rid of one. And then I get to potentially dodge one on a four up. We do not dodge. So we'll take that pulse rate damage right there. I then have one action, which I'm going to use to bash this closest blade demon, which would lead to an attack in the mirror phase for them. However, they are not close enough to me to get that attack off. So no harm, no foul. Next pulse phase, this time with four dice. Uh, that's pretty good. Only one thing for them, which will be a movement to bring them closer to me. I then get to go and we're gonna bash that blade demon. We're then gonna move one, two, three. And then we're going to style on them. So go one, two. Actually, one, two, so that I can still be adjacent to that lockbox. And we'll pick up an evasion token to the next turn. Pulse phase. This one goes not as well for me, uh, but it's just going to be a spawn. So let's see what we get. A two is going to be two blade demons and a gun. I only have one action here. I'm going to, and that in the mirror phase, so that'll deal one damage onto this guy out of his three, and will result in that square and the adjacent ones being on fire until the wits phase. During the mirror phase, he would evade. Pulse phase, where the fire will fade, and I get 
some pretty good stuff going on here. So we got a three and a two. So this one can't evade. So this would cycle down to a two. He would move one, two. And then he would move one again to right here. The fire is gone. He does, however, still have a wound. So my activations will bash him because he has two health remaining now after taking the fire damage. So he's gone. I have two actions remaining, or I have one action remaining with which we will style on him. So one, two to right there, and I will pick up another evasion. These are in a position where they are able to attack me during the mirror phase. However, this one, which I think is closer, will pick up an evasion to pulse. That's pretty good. So this one already has an evasion token, so this will cycle down to a two, which is a movement of one, two, three, bringing that blade demon out around the corner. I then have three actions, which I'm going to blast the demon. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five. With my two movements, I can get out of that door and onto the next room, which will be Room number two, the armory. To the armory. Where we've got a hunting gun demon as well as two blade demons. We're going to start off with our pulse roll. Four dice. Um, that's an okay roll. So we'll move our gun demon. One, two, he'll do two moves and just get up next to me all close and comfy i'm going to we're gonna here we're gonna blast the the gun demon and then we're gonna do a run and gun which will give me two spaces of movement and one damage onto that demon to finish him off phase we resolve these things in order so the attack they can't perform however the move they can so one two Gets him to base to base, gets him to adjacent to me, and then we'll go to a pulse phase. Ooh, that's really good so far. So they will get one attack onto me, which I will evade because I have two evasion tokens in the hole. And then I get to do a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to start by blasting this dude. He has two health. We can blast him off the board. We're then going to style on him. So we'll move one two and gain an evasion we will blast this one because i can see him from there and that'll finish him off and then there will be, will be no demons to do anything during the mirror phase so we'll go to a new pulse so we'll get a spawn and then i have a single action looks like this I am going to interact with the console, which serves as an armor repair station, so that will drop the pulse rate back down to three. Now back down, down to three dice. Oh, and that is the most beautiful of rolls. So, we are going to blast on the gun demon, and then we're gonna run and gun, one, two, and put the last one on him to finish him out. Uh, one action left. So we'll open that barrel. Now this can only be a flame frag or an armor plate. It is another armor plate. Okay, and at that point, uh, we go in order of my actions. So they can't attack because they're not in range. They can move and then they can evade. So move. One, two, three, and evade. So they don't need to move, so they will swing, which will be negated by one of my evade tokens. And have two actions with which I will blast and run and gun to get rid of this, because he has an evasion token on him, so I gotta deal three. And I got two spaces, one, two, to right there. This guy can't attack, so he will move. One, two, three, get him up to right there. 
we go to the next pulse so he will evade and then move to three which is not going to help him because i am then out of the room with my action on to the next room time let's go to the next room we're still looking for the engine room that's not going to be it i think that's back to the corridor maybe where are you number one yep that's back into we the corridor. into another corridor let's check our pulse i get one action this guy will move one two and then he will move again to there i will run and gun so we're going to move one two to there and deal one point of damage to him yes so he doesn't need to move so one of the blade demons will move this phase so two actions for me we'll go with the blade demon who will cycle down and attack which i will use my evasion token to get rid of these remain to me one of them is going to be to blast this guy off the board and then i will move one two three towards the door let's roll okay so we got a move and an attack so this guy will move and attack me i can dodge that on a four i do dodge it so no damage to me my single action which is just going to be to move out of the room see where we're going one so if we're in the corridor and we roll the corridor then we find the room that we're looking for which in this case is the engine room finally we have made it to the engine room we get two actions to their one so this gun demon will move one two my actions are going to be to blast that thing and then to run and gun to finish it off for three so one two and that leaves me put uh, during the mirror phase he cannot shoot but he can move him to right there we'll go to pulse roll two for me one for him he does have a range damage statistic of two and i don't have any evasion so i gotta make these dodge rolls i make one of them so i take one damage to me and luckily the frogs are not very resilient so we're just gonna blast him on off the board and then make a I'm going to use one of my style colas. So we're going to move two, one, two, and pick up two evasion tokens. Demons to do anything during the mirror phase. So we'll go to a pulse roll. And we'll get a spawn of a two, which is two blades and a gun. I'll drop in thusly. Yeah, we're going to blast and then run and gun on that guy to clear him out because he's big scary that leaves me with a move and an attack to deal with so i blasted first so that's the attack which they can't do because they're not in range and then they would have the move so one two that will get them base to base with me we'll go to a pulse roll so we got an evasion and an attack so they will evade and then they will attack, which will be blocked by one of the two evasion tokens that I have. I then have two actions. We'll blast and then run and gun to get away from him and to finish him off through his evasion token. The blast will be an attack, the run and gun will be a move. So they go three to right there. Pulse roll. Two for me. Two for them, so that'll be a move and an attack. One, two, three. And my evasion will soak the attack. Actions will be to blast or bash this fellow, and then to interact with that console to fire up the engines. Uh, we'll get a demon spawn, which won't matter because I have enough movement to exit the room. And we're looking now for the nav bridge. But we're not going to find it. We're going to go back into the corridor. Into another corridor of the ship. Okay. So we will evade. And then move. 
and then get an attack. So evade and then one, two, three, and then get an attack off. I have a chance to dodge. I do not dodge, so I will take one damage. One action to complete, which will be to bash this guy, be done with him. He would have an attack action in the mirror phase. However, he cannot get to me to execute said action. So we'll go back to Pulse. Rating is five, so we roll five dice. Okay, four actions for me. One attack action there, which they can't do, and I still don't think that they cycle. It cycles back to a three, so it would just go away. One of my actions will be to style on them, which will move me to here. One, two to there. I'm gonna discover that barrel. We find a flame frag. And then I'm going to move one, two, three to here and blast that dude off the board. And go back to Pulse. Who? where we're just gonna get a spawn basically. And then I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Three phase. Evade. Attack. All right, so we're gonna evade here, and then he will shoot at me, which I get to try to dodge, and I do not. So we'll take it in. Have three actions, which are going to be to use an armor plate to reduce my pulse. And he's got. So I, I've got to do a double blast. Yeah. I've got to do a double blast to try to deal with him and get him off the board. So we're going to do that. And then in the mirror phase, one of these guys will gain an evade, but they won't be able to use the attacks because they are not in range of me and they don't have a ranged attack. So I'm down to four pulse. We'll go to the phase. Pretty good so far. Pretty good. They're not going to be able to attack because they're not in range of me. So we'll go to me, which is going to be one, two, style on them. Here's our nav bridge with a single hunting frog demon. We got five dice in the pulse pool right now. Ooh, that's not great, but I've seen worse, I guess. So we'll go evade and he gets two evade tokens when he evades. move one two three and then he's got a ranged damage of two because he doesn't need to move anymore so he'll hit me for two and i will evade one and then try to dodge the other which i dodge we'll hold that six for a potential mark of the beast if you dodge it, with three sixes you get some powerful stuff to happen but that's probably not gonna happen this because it resets each round i believe it's by turn. the round, so it's it's with being in the room. And if I get three of them, I can do three actions without granting mirror actions if I get three of those. So it's to me now. I have two actions to myself, and it's going to have to be, I think, like a double bash. Yeah, the frog demon has two health, so we will bash bash to get rid of the frog demon. We just we we got to get him gone. We'll go to the next turn. Still five in the pulse pool. Okay, that's a really good roll for me. We do get a spawn roll, which is going to be two blades and a gun. Oh, for my plethora of actions, we're going to use an item. We're going to use an armor plate to drop our pulse right down. We're going to throw a flame frag that we got and we're going to throw that right there so that it's going to hit both of those demons and deal a point of damage to them i'm then going to blast the gun demon and i'm going to style on them to to right here beside the console. Basically, both of these demons are gonna demons are gonna pick up an evade token during the mirror phase. Our fire dissipates. We got an attack, which they can't do anything with. 
So it'll come to me. We're gonna interact with the console. We are going to style on them. So we're gonna go one, two, and pick up our third evasion token. Phase both of those actions would cause evade tokens and they cannot have more than one evade token. So it's done with them and back to wits. All right, so we got a move and an attack. So we'll move and then they'll swing, which my evasion will soak. And pulse, two for me, one for them. They will swing on me, which my evasion will soak. I will then bash this one, which is enough because he's got an evasion and one health. And then I will move one, two, three, out the door and on to the next room. For the escape room, escape pods. Oh, and we got it. Let's go. In this room, you have to test, you have to discover the escape pod, which I assume is a, is a regular test, so a four up. And I'm assuming that if you find it, then that door is an escape pod. If not, then that door will go to another room. We have to try to find a different escape pod base. So let's see if we can get that four up. We get the four up. So we do have an escape, a functioning escape pod here. We've just got to turn it on by getting to the console. Uh, let's start with our pulse phase. So we got three pulse. And the demon is going to get to move and then attack us. So that'll be two damage normally. I do have an evasion, so one damage that I get to try to dodge which I dodged, that's one six for our Mark of the Beast in this round. One action will be to bash that frog demon's dirty little demon face in. We got a pulse. So we'll get a spawn and then I will have one action. Spawn is gonna be a five, which is two blade demons. Prowl. We're gonna go right there. I'm going to use my last can of Style Cola to move two spaces and gain two evasion tokens. So we'll go one, two, to, <coughs> excuse me, to right there, which will cause one of the demons in the mirror phase to get an evasion token. We'll say that one because it is closer. Wits. Okay, so we'll move one, two, three, and then that one will cy cycle down to an attack, which I will automatically block with an evasion token. My action, I will poo, because he's got an evasion. So we'll we'll bash him, and he'll just take one damage and lose his evasion token. Then in the demon phase, he will bash me back, which my evasion token that I have left will get rid of or ignore. So there he gets an evade and a move. The move he doesn't need so he will that'll go down to a swing which i get to try to dodge on a four up i do not dodge it so i will take one day. action will be to bash through his evasion and one remaining health leaving an attack action to that demon in the mirror phase which he cannot perform because he is not in range so four dice in the pulse pool now that's pretty good. He can't attack me because he can't get to me. So that's nothing, I assume, until somebody corrects me. Until somebody can confirm or deny that it cycles from a one to a three if they can't attack, that's probably how I'm going to play it. So I'm going to run and gun. Actually, no. I'm just going to move three. Bash him in, bash his skull in. And then move another three. To right there. Two. Pulse dice, wits roll. So we'll get a spawn of a gun and two two blades. Two activations will then be to run and gun, and then to blast that gun demon off the board, leaving an evasion and an attack to those guys leaving a move and an attack so one two three but not enough to get the attack off four dice in the pool two to me two to them so that'll be a move one two three up and an attack which i get to try to dodge 
I dodge it with a six. So that's two for our Mark of the Beast. Okay. Um, on to me. We will bash and then run and gun to get up onto the platform and to get through his evasion token and deal with him. That guy still has an evasion from earlier. And then we'll go to wits. We're making, we, we, we're, we're, we got a chance. Ooh, that hurts. So that'll cycle down to two moves and a potential attack. So one, two, three, one, two, three, does not get close enough to me to attack in melee. So with my one action, I will activate the thing. Now, my understanding is because I'm on the platform and you have to be on the platform to do the console, which I think I did wrong earlier, I don't think that this would interfere or count as being adjacent to the platform or to the console, but if I'm wrong with that, let me know. I think that it works so that that works the way I, that I'm saying, so I'm gonna activate that console and which will give an evasion, which he can't use. So we will go to wits. Not a great roll for me. So he's gonna now be able to move into me and then he will swing twice. I get to try to dodge these. I dodge one of them. My action, which will be to bash him leaving one damage, leave removing his evasion and leaving one damage. And then he will get to fight, hit me back. And let's see if I can dodge. I do not. Currently five dice in the pool. So he can evade, so he will. He doesn't need to move, so he will attack and I need to make this dodge. <laughs> we got really lucky there because if I if he had hit me there, I would be done. It would be it would be a wrap. It would be game over. So now he's got an evasion and one damage on him. So I'm gonna bash him to finish him out, and then we're gonna move twice. See what we get in this. So we do get some demons. Let's see what we get. A one and a six, because with a one, you have to roll a second time. So that'll be two ambushing blade demons right there. I have two actions here, and I honestly think that the best thing to do is to just run away. So we're just gonna one, two, three, one, two into the escape pod, and we're off the demon ship. I think that I got most of the rules right in that playthrough. I know there were some things that were iffy. Again, I played through several times. So yeah, I'm surprised. I can't believe that I actually got off the ship. Um, if I did it right. I think I did it right. I think I did it right. But either way, if I made mistakes, let me know in the comments. I'm always grateful for help with rules, especially when it's new games that I'm playing. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a Big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.